Hey guys, it's time to open our final Easter treasure. Are you ready? Let's see what's inside. <gasps> it's a heart. What does a heart have to do with Easter? Hmm. Let's keep it inside our treasure chest and we'll discover the answer today as we explore Easter. Every time you hear this sound, try to say this Bible verse with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 There are some items hiding under these cups, but one of the cups is empty. Can you guess which cup is empty? Let's see if you guessed correctly. Let's try it again. Can you guess which cup is empty? Let's see if you're right. Okay, one more time. Which cup do you think is empty? Let's see. Gather your own objects and cups and try playing this game with a friend. And keep listening because in our Bible story today, we'll hear about something else that was empty. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 After Jesus died on the cross, his body was buried in a tomb. A large stone was placed in front of the opening. Jesus' followers were very sad, but on the third day, something miraculous happened, and the world has never been the same. Jesus came back to life. This is the story of Jesus' resurrection. You can find this story in your Bible in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. You can pause the video now and find it. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. For God so loved the world, 
that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 After Jesus came back to life, he told his friends to share the good news to the ends of the earth. For our craft today, we're going to decorate some postcards that you can send to your friends or neighbors to share the good news of Easter, that Jesus is alive. We're going to make our own rubber stamps that we can use to decorate our postcards. For this project, you'll need some thick cardboard or foam board, rubber bands, scissors, glue, a piece of cardstock, paint, and a paintbrush. First, cut down your board into small rectangles. This will be the backing for your rubber stamps. Then, Cut apart some rubber bands and glue them onto the board to make a design. You might arrange them into the shape of a cross or try another figure like a palm branch. You could also do straight lines to make a cool pattern. Next, cut down a piece of cardstock to make it postcard sized. Brush some paint onto the rubber part of your stamp and then Press it face down onto your postcard. Press down and then raise it up to see your stamp. Add some more designs and then, once it's dry, turn it over, add your friend's address, and write a message to share the good news of Easter, like Jesus loves you or Jesus is alive. Add a stamp and send it on its way. God loves the world so much, and the good news of Easter is for everyone. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 by the sun. Can you find it? I spy the empty tomb. Can you find it? by the name Jesus. Can you find it? I spy the heart. Can you find it? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen For God so loved the world 
that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Can you remember these details from our Bible story today? What time of day did the women go to look at the tomb? At dawn? At noon? At sunset? Or at midnight? Who rolled away the stone from the tomb? The women? An angel? The guards? Or the disciples? What was the first thing the angel said to the women? Good morning? Happy Easter. What are you looking for? Or do not be afraid. Which word means that Jesus rose from the dead? Crucifixion? Burial? Resurrection? or ascension. Did you know that Jesus wants you to be part of his kingdom too? Our Bible memory verse says that God loved the world so much that he gave his son Jesus. Anyone who believes in him will have eternal life. That means that if we trust in Jesus and his sacrifice for our sins, we will live forever with God too. And that's the good news of Easter. Jesus died for our sins, Jesus was buried, and Jesus came back to life. Have a great Easter, everyone. Jesus is alive and he loves you so much. Thanks for joining us.